Lok Sabha has finally passed the bankruptcy, the insolvency and bankruptcy bill to be precise. Now, the bill paves the way for a stronger law governing bankruptcy proceedings and puts employees and workers on a stronger footing than both unsecured creditors and the government. So, Lata, take us through the importance of the bill, the features of the bill and how significant would this be in the long term? Uh, well, uh, in the first place, at the moment, if uh, a company doesn't pay money, either pay its loans back to a bondholder or to a bank, mm. then there are various ways in this you can enforce the Sarfasi Act, mm. whereby the creditors can, you know, just enforce the security. But what happens is usually somebody drags uh, uh, the bank to court for some reason or the other. Or you can go to the DRT, the Debt Recovery Tribunals, and try and recover. The banks can try and recover their assets. Again, under Debt Recovery Tribunals, there is a long queue, and invariably the petitioner the company goes in for uh, endless amount of adjournments mm -hmm. and the company is uh, not able to, the bank is not able to uh, recover its money. The hope is that the insolvency uh, law, the bankruptcy bill, mm -hmm. will short circuit all this and try to make it a time bound process. Under this once, uh, anybody can call a default, even a supplier who has supplied uh, raw material mm -hmm. and has not got money, even he can uh, ask for an insolvency petition. And uh, once it is accepted by the uh, tribunal, then it uh, appoints the uh, uh, information officers to gather uh, 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 information about the company. Then the a, a creditors committee is formed. Mm -hmm. And if a majority of the creditors committee say, yes, make it insolvent, then the money is, uh, you know, the company mm -hmm. is uh, stripped of its assets. The first secured creditors are paid. And then the work, first the workmen's dues mm. are paid, then the secured creditors, and then the tax authorities are paid. Mm. But, uh, I mean, the, the whole thing, uh, once the, uh, 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 a supplier or a creditor takes it to the uh, NCLT, to the uh, um, uh, company law tribunal, it, it has only 180 days to give its final verdict. But, uh, <clears throat> or it can take another 90 days, 270 days. But the point is, will it work that way? Yeah. I mean, it's quite possible. After all, all tribunals are subservient to the High Court. Mm -hmm. The High Court in any state has superintending authority over all the tribunals. So you could go to the High Court even in this case and on frivolous uh, grounds take adjournments. See, even the tribunal can give adjournments yeah. on frivolous grounds. Even under the Sarfasi Act and the DRT Act, they were supposed to give their judgment in 180 days. But we know that it has taken eight years, nine years sometimes mm. to recover assets. So the hope is that in this sp specific case, mm. the tribunals will be quick in uh, resolving mm. uh, a, a company. We'll have to wait and see. Absolutely. Let's listen into 